Hello friends and welcome back. Today we will discuss DMZ or demilitarized zone which is widely used concept in network security. Demilitarized zones are a wider concept in military as well. It is a buffer area between two opposing forces which separates conflicting nations or entities with the primary objective to provide a neutral space where military activities are restricted or prohibited. Like Korean demilitarized zone was established to serve as a buffer zone between the countries of North Korea and South Korea. Similarly, in network security, demilitarized zone acts as a buffer zone between the internal trusted network and the external unsecure network, typically the internet. Network borders are used to protect outsiders from directly accessing systems within local linear network and this is done by using firewalls and other security devices to filter traffic and only allow authorized traffic to pass through. Firewall blocks all traffic from the internet except for traffic that is destined for specific web server. Certain services like web server, email server or public facing applications are placed in DMZ. This allows external users to access these services without directly interacting with the internal network. Let's take an example. Suppose a company's website hosted on a web server in the DMZ allows external users to browse and interact without compromising internal systems. Devices in the DMZ are configured to have minimal and necessary functionalities to reduce potential vulnerabilities. Like a email server in the DMZ might only have essential email related service enabled minimizing the attack surface. IDS or IPS that is intrusion detection system and intrusion prevention system are security measures in the DMZ designed to monitor, record and potentially block suspicious activities and thus providing an additional layer of security, additional layer of defense. Intrusion detection system in the DMZ might detect and log multiple failed login attempts, signaling a potential brute force attack. IDS might detect a packet that is attempting to exploit a vulnerability in a web server in the DMZ. The IDS could then alert the network administrator to the suspicious packet and it could block the packet to prevent the attack from being successful. Firewalls in the DMZ are positioned behind packet filtering routers to pre-screen incoming traffic, blocking obvious threats before reaching the internal network. Packet filtering routers are used to filter traffic based on source and destination, IP address, port numbers and other criteria. They can be configured to block traffic that is known as malicious, such as traffic from known bad actors or traffic that is attempting to exploit known vulnerabilities. The firewall ensures that incoming traffic from external sources is directed into DMZ where services intended for outside use are located. Firewall routes external requests to the web server maintaining a controlled, secure flow of traffic. Critical organization assets are not located in DMZ to avoid direct exposure to potential attacks from external sources like the main database containing sensitive customer information is placed within internal network, not in the DMZ to mitigate the security risks. By not allowing external users to access the internal network directly, the organization adds a layer of protection to its critical systems. This is because the firewall blocks traffic from the DMZ to the internal network. Even if external entities compromise the DMZ, they still cannot get access to critical internal servers which maintains the security of sensitive data. Let's understand the flow of traffic from internet to DMZ. A user on the internet initiates a request to access a website hosted on a web server in the DMZ. Packet filtering router filters incoming traffic based on predefined rules such as IP addresses, port numbers and protocols Traffic that matches the filtering criteria is allowed to pass through while others are discarded. Filter traffic then reaches firewall. Traffic that complies with the firewall's rules is permitted to enter the DMZ while unauthorized or suspicious traffic is blocked or flagged for further inspection. If suspicious activity is detected, the IPS or IDS can either block the traffic 
alert the network administrator or take corrective actions to mitigate the threat. If the destination of the request is a server within the DMZ, the traffic is routed to the appropriate server. If the destination of the request is server within the internal network, the firewall directs the traffic to the appropriate internal router. Additional protection by access control list and network segmentation is taken for internal network. When the requested information or resource is retrieved from the DMZ server, the response packet follows the same path back to the user on the internet. So this was about demilitarized zones in network security. Now a question for you all is, is extranet same as DMZ? So the answer is no, extranet and DMZ are not the same. An extranet is a private network that allows controlled access to external users such as business partners or customers. Typically, extranets are used to share internal resources with external partners in a secure manner. It is like an extension of company's network for key stakeholders outside the organization. So I hope now you have understood the difference between DMZ and extranet. Thank you for patiently listening. See you in another video soon. Bye-bye. Consider joining on LinkedIn. Thank you. Have a great day.